human history has seen no greater influence for changing lives than Jesus Christ. Jesus has turned murderers into missionaries. He's taken cowards and made them courageous. He has come alongside the sexually broken and made them whole again. He's grabbed hold of embittered gang members and transformed them into eloquent and grace-filled pastors. And as Jesus Christ has changed individuals, he has also transformed entire civilizations, making the bloodthirsty Roman Empire into a force for good, taking the rapacious slave-trading Vikings and causing them to free their slaves and become builders of Western society. And of course, Jesus was the impetus for the end of the slave trade, later in Great Britain and in America. After the atomic bombs of World War II brought the fierce warriors of Japan to surrender, General Douglas MacArthur, who became the supreme commander charged with rebuilding Japan, called upon America to send a thousand missionaries to the bellicose nation, knowing the transformative power of the gospel. In a few weeks, we will celebrate Easter. Did you know that Easter is all about that transformation and that it's available for you? By dying for our sins and being raised again from the dead, Jesus offers us the great exchange, our sin for his righteousness. Because of his death and resurrection, I can have eternal life in the presence of the holy, almighty God even though I am a sinner. And when you receive Jesus Christ by faith, you also are transformed. As God's word tells us, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. This invitation to a new life is for you. If you have not received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, today can be the day of your salvation. If this is the desire of your heart, just pray along with me. Father, I have sinned against you and deserve your punishment. But in your grace and mercy and love, you have instead offered me eternal life in Jesus as a free gift. Lord, I accept that wonderful gift and received Jesus Christ, your son, as my Lord and Savior. Now, Lord, please transform me, wash me, and make me new again. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. If you sincerely prayed that prayer, we have a book we want to send you at no cost or obligation to you. It's Dr. Kennedy's book for new believers to guide you in your relationship with Christ. It's called Beginning Again. Contact us to receive a copy today and may God bless you as you do.